Hello everyone. Today I want to continue on with my insane April 2021 marathon of movies, 18 Blu-rays in 18 days, and making comments on them as well. Uh, and today's film is from 1970, and it's called In Soon the Darkness, directed by Robert Fust and starring Pamela Franklin, one of my favorites, Michelle Dotris, Rob, and Sandra Ells. It, uh, it's available on Kino Warber, and I have to, I have to really send out kudos to, uh, to Kino Warber for releasing movies of this type because uh, I don't think any studio would ever put these, might, might not ever put out a uh, Blu-ray edition of this film or many films of its ilk from the time period of around the 1970s. And there were so many, uh, the, these films, and I was a movie fanatic in 1970, and these, these movies, uh, I saw them all, uh, but I think they mean more to me now than they did in 1970. They, they sort of transcend, you know, a kind of critique, and they, there's so much reflection of their times that uh, soon the darkness is really a, uh, very suspenseful and uh, it's, it's a interesting film in many different facets and um, it was directed by Robert Fust uh, who is probably most famous for uh, the abominable Dr. Fives that came up a few years later it was produced written by Brian Clemens Fust and Clemens uh, Fust directed Clemens wrote many of the uh, episodes of the Avengers, Avengers was all over, Brian Forbes was at EMI and starting a new British uh, film production company, and this was the first film of that, of that company. Um, it, Pamela Franklin and uh, Michelle Dautrys play nurses who, uh, British nurses who, from Nottingham, they come to France on their vacation, they're, they're cycling across uh, France, uh, the the back roads of rural countryside. Uh, they're two different types. You wonder how they could ever be friends. Uh, uh, Michelle Dotrice's character, Kathy, is fun-loving. She doesn't want to stick to this rigid itinerary that uh, Pamela Franklin's character uh, has set up. They have an argument in the woods uh, alongside the road, and, uh, and in this argument, Pamela Franklin takes off on her bike and uh, leaves leaves her uh, friend behind but then goes back uh, goes to a cafe gets a drink and then cycles back to uh, make up and find her friend and she's gone missing uh, they've fallen through a rabbit hole they've entered a countryside that looks uh, quiet and sedate and uh, but it, it's haunted by a, a murder of a blonde girl um, a couple years earlier in the woods, the killer was never found. Uh, the countryside doesn't doesn't suddenly doesn't look so benign. Everybody looks like he could, he or she could be a suspect in this uh, old murder. And now the disappearance of uh, Kathy, and uh, we and uh, Jane is the name of the character of uh, that the panel Franklin plays, and it's very. Um, very common kind of names. Uh, uh, I love the way they their their attire, their their hairstyles. The more fun loving uh, Kathy has long flowing blonde hair. Uh, Pamela Franklin has a very severe looking bob cut. But of course, in these kind of films, uh, that type of character, the character that Pamela Franklin is playing, is is the, is probably going to be the more resourceful uh, character. She's not as complacent. She's She's uh, got her head on straight. She looks uh, uh, as if uh, she's up to the task uh, to try to find her, uh, what happened to her friend. And um, <clears throat> this film was uh, uh, remade in uh, 2010. It's not a film that, um, it's not a film that got very good reviews. Uh, this, uh, in Soon the Darkness, uh, didn't get very good reviews either. It, it did fairly well, I think, at the box office. But the remake, from uh, what I read about the remake, I don't, uh, I don't think I'm ever going to uh, check it out, at least not anytime soon. Of course, Pamela Franklin is, is a favorite of mine, and, and she gets a real chance to, to shine here. She had these big, wide, very intelligent-looking eyes, always looking around, uh, 
trying to read the signs of, on, the, on the people, the, the other characters in the film that, that I say all seem, you know, they're all presented as rather dodgy characters. <laughs> can she trust them? Can she not? Um, and uh, as, as, as the film progresses, she's, she, she's more and more feeling of isolation. Uh, she doesn't know French. Everybody that she comes to, they don't, uh, they speak French and, and some of them know a little bit of English, but that you hear them speaking French, there's no subtitles, which really increases their isolation. Uh, there's a couple of very good uh, suspense, suspenseful moments in the woods and then in a trailer park, an abandoned and seedy and broken down trailer park where the uh, climax of the movie uh, occurs. So again, in Soon the Dark, this is one I would really recommend. Uh, I don't know, it has, it has uh, it, it, it's a beautiful restoration. I don't know who did the restoration, but on my 65 inch television screen, it looked, you know, sitting eight feet away. This looked like <laughs> you were sitting in a movie theater and this is how it looked in movies in 1970, 50 years ago. It's a miracle to me. And I'll never take any of this kind of stuff for granted. Uh, so um, uh, again, a recommendation for uh, a shout out of uh, congratulations to King Lorber. Thank you for bringing out this film. And I hope if you do get it, you enjoy it as much as I did. Um, if you have any uh, comments on the movie, you've seen it before, uh, I would very much uh, enjoy reading those comments and responding, uh, subscribes, likes, all that kind of good stuff. For anybody who stuck with me to the end of this video, as always, I'm, it's much, much appreciated, and I will catch you guys next time.